Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it's a trap. These protests this weekend, I wanted to do a special report from Tiger Mountain and tell you about it. It's a trap. Don't attend it. It'll just put us into lockdown longer with Daniel Andrews. Let's talk about it. The report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this weekend there's a big people's protest all over Melbourne. Um, I think on September 5th, a lot of people are meant to go into the city and, um, you know, basically protest, you know, their freedoms. And obviously it's a lot of people who have doubted the narrative of COVID-19. Either it's a conspiracy or it's over hysterized or that lockdowns are a bad idea. Now, some of these ideas, for example, the last one, lockdowns are a bad idea. That's something I am sympathetic to, but I do not believe we should be protesting this Saturday. I think it's a load of bullshit. And um, it's, I mean, I remember many on the new right condemned the Black Lives Matter protest. Uh, and that was, I believe, linked to the recent spike in Victoria. And I think going having some kind of mass protest this um, weekend is a really, really terrible idea and we shouldn't do it. Um, I know that some of us may be sympathetic to some of the, um, the causes and some of the things that are going on but I just think it's it's a bad idea it's like that Star Wars line it's a trap I think that's what it is I think Daniel Andrews will use this crisis to um, keep us in lockdown for probably another month if he can get to get away with it but probably at least another couple of weeks probably for most of September um, if the uh, protest is large and goes ahead I mean if it's only a few people and the police arrest them that probably won't be so bad but I just think it's the wrong way to protest I think the right way to protest if you have problems with these lockdowns and think this this is being over hysterized as a right to your local politicians low right to um, the governor general um, maybe they can gough Whitlam Daniel Andrews and uh, remove him from office and employ somebody who's got a more even-handed um, uh, handling of this uh, COVID crisis and there's a lot of other things you can do online and safely while, while maintaining social distancing and all that I just think that you know this this could be potentially be a bad idea there have been many huge protests all over the world um, that's been going on and I think um, some of them are quite interesting I mean there's some of them are almost 100 200,000 people in Berlin and there's been a lot of people in London um, uh, many people from the new right have spoken at it someone like David like the conspiracy theorist has spoken at it there's all kinds of interesting things going on in relation to people rebelling against this I don't mind it in other countries because we don't have to pay the direct consequences here but I really think in Australia you should watch it but particularly with someone like Daniel Andrews who's, who's very into lockdowns and if he, you give him a good excuse to continue this lockdown I believe he'll do it there's another interesting thing that's been going on in Dandenong there's a lot of kind of um, um, you know I, I, it's kind of like uh, I'm not sure what community it is in, 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 in Dandenong but they've been revolting every night there's been a hundred or so men who've been kind of like going on walks together and the police have been trying to shut this down I think they've been doing it as a protest that's kind of been interesting but again I don't think that is a good idea I think um, that this plays into Daniel's uh, Daniel Andrews hand um, for him to uh, behave in a more totalitarian manner remember when you're faced with um, a totalitarian leader like Daniel Andrews or someone who's tempted towards totalitarianism don't fall into their trap that enables them to further clamp down and behave in a further more totalitarian way so that's my advice and they're the thoughts I wanted to share today on the report from Tiger Mountain thank you for listening cheers stay safe